Hey, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 15 here at Sosnovka. We're getting these stumps out of the ground finally. Gonna get them ground out, it shouldn't take but just a minute here. This is a... well, it's a quick process here. In real life, uh, this would take a little longer. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's alright here. It takes about five seconds here. In real life, it would take about, um, well, depending on the type of equipment you had, uh, it could take anywhere from 15 minutes uh, on upwards of, uh, and the size of the stump, 15 minutes to over an hour, I guess. Uh, I've had some small stumps ground out uh, that were not very big and uh, had a big uh, skid steer with a uh, stump grinder on it. And uh, got those out pretty fast. Uh, took about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, it wasn't a very big stump. It was probably the width of uh, maybe a foot and a half diameter. So it wasn't too big. Nah, it's probably a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, it's bigger. It wasn't it's bigger. It's probably about a two foot diameter. There we go. Turn that off and uh, I think we got the stumps out on this side. I don't see any. There were trees here. Well no, there's a stump right there behind me, so. I'll just leave it here because we may have to come back and uh, do this side. So, all right, he's full. He let me get him started. Gotta get this barley up. Get the straw down. Okay. Where there he is. All right. Now I'm going to take this other uh, blue one. And take these tippers. Probably need to go empty them. Whoa, them things are whipping. We got the barley. Um, 106 in storage so far right now. Uh, we need corn. I guess we'll do corn next after we get the, uh, the stuff up. A long trip back to the farm this way. If you could do it any way you wanted to, I would, uh, since we bought the fields over there, I would put some silos over there to store stuff in. If it would let you. I don't know, I think it has to be within a, within a proximity of the farm. And, uh, of course it, it'd have to be on 17, you can't do it on 15. And I'd fix this uh, zoom in camera issue. I hate that. First thing when you get down behind it, it, it won't do it like that. Right there, yeah, there it goes. 
I know it's trying to get through the roof, but I would rather see roof than it jerk me back and forth. That, that goes back and forth. I hate that. Gives me whiplash. You can kind of see where the lines run across this map. See on the road there how they're kind of diagonal? Those are the uh, the graphical lines where the uh, the grids are. Because you know the grass, even the fields are just little grids, tiny grids uh, made together. You can see how big they are. He's all ready for a while. Doesn't take long for him to fill up. I probably need to go catch up with him and you know, me. I need to be offloaded soon too. He's probably gonna get that playground equipment. No, uh, maybe not. I might miss that passive dog though. Get this guy out of the way here and go back to the big guy. No, he missed it. I thought he was going to hit it. He got close though. green going in. This is the last little bit over here. I'm going to move uh, the big guy over to the other side of field uh, 7. Or, well, 13. Get him going over there and uh, we'll knock this harvest out. We need a great demand for something. We haven't had a whole lot of great demands. We had a great demand for barley. And then we had a great demand for corn. And, you know, we had a great demand for wood, chips, and sugar beets, but, uh, that's, uh, that's it. I mean, we haven't had a great demand for the big, for the big ticket items, you know, like, uh, canola or wheat or silage. Just haven't had it. It just have, hasn't happened. So, it should be happening soon, anytime now. He's done there. I'm probably going to go ahead and go empty these. This is kind of heavy with two being full. I may even take that last trailer off. Let me move him first. Better turn my lights on getting on this highway. Yeah, I've got traffic. I better fold this up too. I don't want to damage the uh, auger. And that. Boy, he takes up that whole road when he does that, doesn't he? 
I'm surprised he uh, hadn't hit any traffic coming through here yet. Probably need to cut an inroad off that home. I think I'm doing that. Let me do that. Let me just cut an inroad here. I think I've done that before. I think I've cut an inroad off. Because he shouldn't be backing way out there in the middle of the road. Oh, I'm going to unfold it. Dropping this like this, we can either pick it up like that or rake it all into one straight row. Little guy's on my floor again, huh? We'll take care of that. Through here, we'll say that nine meter hit. It does. It does work. I mean, you have to get a little closer to it, but uh, it works pretty good. You can run alongside of him at least without uh, hitting the hitter. Really like to trade this combine in for the uh, a bigger model of something, but uh, we'll just keep it. I mean, we're. Uh, it's doing okay. It's got the same size head, and we're running through the harvest. As long as we keep him uh, unloaded, uh, it does okay. And these are not these are not bad combines. I mean, I've slammed Rostam Ash in the past, and it's yeah, I don't I don't like them as much as I do New Hollander Case. But uh, the combines here, like these, are okay. Um, it's the forage harvester. Uh, that I do not like and I probably won't buy another one of those again unless it's like on a on a multiplayer map or something like that and that's all we can afford and the vote is you know three to one or something like that but I probably won't buy another one of those it's gonna be the either the crone the big crone or the New Holland all the way Homer. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to offload this back one. Right there. Just leave it parked right there. I'll pick it up when I pick up the, the straw. He's just about full, so I'm going to go empty him. Just such a long trip back over here. This is where the biogas plant's at. This is where the pigs are. And this is where the big fields are. The majority of them, anyway. But we'll be good to go on barley after this harvest, so we're uh, 141 now in storage. And like I said, next is corn because we have zero of corn. We just we just got to hit a great demand on something. You know, it's this is really strange. You know, every map I've played, we hit a great demand. You know, like maybe every other day or every couple of days, but. It's been days since we uh, hit anything, as far as the great demand goes. Maybe it'll hit one this afternoon. I mean, it's only 11.41 here in Solsnovka. 
ですよ Yeah, the goal is, uh, I think the goal that I'm going to set for this map on uh, 15 is to buy a field 18. Plow all this up right here and uh, buy that field. It's pretty expensive. It's not a cheap field. I'm going to say it's $180,000. $180, I think it's more than that. Yeah, it's got to be more than 180. I'll have to look it up. I know it's got to be more. Right, both combines are full after that long trip. I think I'm going to take that stomping tractor over and see how much it is. Said he done See, the best thing about 15, or not 15, about this field 18 is, if you wanted to on 15 here, you could plow all this up. And make this all filled along with it. There's a lot of uh, area right there that's, there's nothing there. There's no trees in the way or uh, anything. And uh, that part down there, like I said earlier, you could plow that up too and uh, make this one really nice, decent sized field. Alright, it's 193. I wasn't too far off. So it's, uh, it's not too expensive. Uh, I will say uh, 193,000. That's not bad for this to be the biggest, uh, the biggest field on the map. I mean, the biggest, uh, you know, field as a whole. Uh, and you know, given the opportunities surrounding it, you know, you can plow all that up and make it a really nice size field. Um, that's not bad. Not a bad price. Um, comparable field this size uh, over on uh, Westbridge. Um, I'd say one over on Westbridge this size would probably cost around three hundred fifty thousand and up. I mean, given given the extra space that you've got on the other side of the field over there, and uh, and uh, the size of the field. So that's that'll be our goal. I can use that other. I can uh, join these two uh, New Hollands together and get them on the planters. Could sell that Homer now. I don't know if we'll do any more plowing or not. Well, we'll do some around 18. But that's full. Now I can fill up this one. All right, so we'll keep on harvesting here and uh, look forward to the future endeavors here at Sosnovka. So until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. See you guys next time.